Picture this, a world where men and women coexist in perfect harmony, treating each other with the utmost respect, wisdom, and virtue. Sounds like a utopian dream, doesn't it? But what if I told you that the key to unlocking this ideal lies in the teachings of an ancient philosophy, Stoicism? Imagine a society where men approach women as equals, not as inferior or superior beings. A world where self-control and rational judgment prevail over base emotions and desires. A reality in which honesty, integrity, and open communication form the bedrock of every interaction. This is the promise of Stoicism, a path to virtuous, fulfilling relationships that uplift both individuals and society as a whole. As we embark on this exhilarating journey, I invite you to ponder a question, what would your relationships look like if you embodied the wisdom of the Stoics? The answer may surprise you, and it all starts with understanding the eight things a man should never do with women. Get ready to laugh, learn, and be inspired as we unravel the secrets of Stoicism and unlock the key to a more harmonious, fulfilling way of life. If you are not subscribed, hit the button, leave a comment and if you want to better reflect your Stoic spirit, you can get your own wallpapers from the link in the description. The adventure begins now. 1. Don't treat women as inferior or superior beings. Picture this, you're walking down the street, and you overhear a man speaking condescendingly to a woman, dismissing her ideas and treating her as if she were beneath him. How does that make you feel? Chances are, it evokes a sense of disgust and indignation, and rightly so. Treating women as inferior is not only morally reprehensible but also flies in the face of Stoic principles. The Stoics believed in the fundamental equality of all human beings, regardless of gender, race, or our social status. They taught that every person possesses inherent worth and dignity, and that we should treat others with the same respect and fairness that we ourselves desire. This means approaching relationships with women not as a battleground for dominance or our superiority, but as a partnership of equals. Imagine the transformative power of this simple shift in mindset. When men view women as their equals, they create space for genuine connection, mutual understanding, and shared growth. They open the door to relationships built on trust, compassion, and reciprocity, the very foundations of a flourishing society. But the Stoics didn't stop at merely advocating for equality. They also cautioned against the dangers of placing women on a pedestal, of treating them as superior beings to be worshipped or idolized. This too is a form of OBJECTIFICATION that robs women of their humanity and agency. Instead, the Stoics encourage US to see women as they truly are, complex, multifaceted individuals with their own thoughts, feelings, and aspirations. By treating women with the same respect and dignity that we accord to ourselves, we create the conditions for authentic, meaningful relationships that enrich both partners. So, how can we put this principle into practice? It starts with the little things, the way we speak to women, the way we listen to their ideas and opinions, the way we value their contributions in the workplace and beyond. It means challenging our own biases and preconceptions, and making a conscious effort to treat every woman we encounter with the same respect and fairness that we would want for ourselves. The result? A world where men and women can work side by side as true partners, unleashing their full potential and creating a brighter, more equitable future for all. And that, my friends, is a goal worth striving for. But the journey doesn't end here. In the next section, we'll explore another key Stoic principle that can help U.S. navigate the complexities of interpersonal relationships with wisdom and grace. Get ready to dive deep into the art of emotional self-control and discover how it can transform your interactions with women and beyond. Stay tuned. 2. Don't let emotions control you.
Imagine approaching a disagreement with a WOMAN, not with a sense of animosity or our defensiveness, but with a spirit of compassion and understanding. By keeping our emotions in check and engaging in rational dialogue, we open the door to resolution and growth. We create a space where both partners can express their needs and concerns without fear of judgment or our retaliation. This isn't to say that emotions have no place in our relationships. On the contrary, the Stoics recognize the importance of genuine feelings and emotional connections. But they also knew that unchecked emotions can be destructive, leading us to say and do things that damage the very bonds we seek to strengthen. So, how can we put this principle into practice? Start by cultivating a habit of self-awareness, paying attention to your emotional states and triggers. When you feel yourself getting worked up or overwhelmed, take a moment to breathe deeply and center yourself. Ask yourself, is this emotion serving me in my relationship, or is it clouding my judgment? As you learn to regulate your emotions and approach challenges with a rational mindset, you'll find that your interactions with women become more productive, more fulfilling, and more joyful. You'll be able to weather the storms of conflict and emerge stronger, with a deeper understanding of yourself and your partner. Next up, we'll explore the dangers of deception and manipulation in our relationships with women, and discover how honesty and integrity can pave the way to true connection. Don't go anywhere, the journey is just getting started. 3. Don't deceive or manipulate. Picture this, you're on a date with a woman you really like, and you find yourself tempted to stretch the truth a bit to impress her. Maybe you exaggerate your accomplishments or alter a story to make yourself look better. It might seem harmless in the moment, but the Stoics would caution you against this path for good reason. The great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, the first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. In other words, Honesty and integrity are the cornerstones of a life well lived, and this is especially true in our relationships with women. When we deceive or manipulate others, we create a false foundation for our interactions. We present a version of ourselves that isn't authentic, and we rob our partners of the opportunity to know and love us for who we truly are. This can lead to a host of problems down the line, from broken trust to shattered relationships. Imagine, instead, the power of radical honesty in your interactions with women. When you show up as your authentic self, flaws and all, you create space for genuine connection and understanding. You allow your partner to see you, to know you, and to love you for the imperfect but striving human being that you are. This doesn't mean that you need to bear your soul on the first date or share every single detail of your life right away, but it does mean committing to truthfulness in your words and actions, even when it feels uncomfortable or vulnerable. The Stoics understood that honesty is a form of respect, respect for oneself, for others, and for the truth itself. When we deceive or manipulate, we disrespect our own integrity and the autonomy of those around us. We treat others as means to an end, rather than as ends in themselves. So, how can we cultivate honesty and authenticity in our relationships? Start by getting to know yourself deeply, your values, your beliefs, your hopes, and your fears. The more you understand and accept yourself, the easier it becomes to show up authentically with others. Practice telling the truth, even when it's hard. This might mean admitting when you're wrong, sharing your vulnerabilities, or having difficult conversations. It might mean risking rejection or disapproval in the short term, but building stronger, more resilient connections in the long run. As you navigate the complexities of relationships with women, let honesty be your guiding light. Let it inform your words, your actions, and your intentions, and watch as it transforms your interactions from the superficial to the profound, from the fleeting to the enduring. 
In our next section, we'll dive into the importance of respecting personal boundaries and fostering autonomy in our relationships. Get ready to discover how true connection thrives in an atmosphere of mutual respect and freedom. Stay tuned. 4. Don't disregard personal boundaries and autonomy. Imagine you're in a relationship with a woman and you find yourself constantly pushing against her boundaries. Maybe you pressure her to spend more time with you than she's comfortable with, or you try to control her choices and decisions. While your intentions may be rooted in love or concern, the Stoics would warn against this kind of behavior, and for good reason. The Stoic philosopher E.P.I.C.T.E.T.U.S. once said, in life, our first job is this, to divide and distinguish things into two categories, externals I cannot control, but the choices I make with regard to them I do control. This powerful insight lies at the heart of respecting personal boundaries and autonomy in our relationships. When we disregard our partner's boundaries, we send a message that our desires and preferences take precedence over their own. We treat them as an extension of ourselves, rather than as a separate, autonomous being with their own thoughts, feelings, and needs. This can lead to resentment, conflict, and a breakdown of trust and intimacy. On the other hand, when we respect our partner's boundaries and support their autonomy, we create space for genuine connection and growth. We recognize that true love isn't about possession or our control but about nurturing each other's freedom and individuality. Imagine a relationship where both partners feel secure in their own skin, free to express themselves and pursue their own passions. A relationship where boundaries are honored and autonomy is celebrated. This is the kind of partnership that the Stoics would encourage US to cultivate, one rooted in mutual respect, trust, and support. So, how can we put this principle into practice? Start by getting clear on your own boundaries and communicating them openly and honestly with your partner. This means knowing what you're comfortable with, what you need to feel safe and respected, and what your non-negotiables are. At the same time, make space for your partner to express their own boundaries and needs. Listen with an open heart and mind, and be willing to compromise and adjust as necessary. Remember that a healthy relationship is a dance of give and take, of honoring each other's autonomy while also finding ways to connect and support one another. When conflicts arise around boundaries, approach them with curiosity and compassion. Seek to understand your partner's perspective, and look for solutions that honor both of your needs and desires. This might mean finding creative compromises or sometimes agreeing to disagree. Above all, remember that respecting your partner's boundaries and autonomy is a form of love, a way of showing that you value and cherish them for who they are, not just for what they can do for you. It's a way of building a relationship that is resilient, authentic, and deeply fulfilling. As we move forward on this journey of Stoic wisdom, we'll explore the importance of focusing on our own personal growth and self-improvement. Get ready to discover how investing in yourself can transform your relationships from the inside out. If you are not subscribed, hit the button. Leave a comment and if you want to better reflect your Stoic spirit, you can get your own wallpapers from the link in the description. The adventure continues.